Alright folks, welcome to 90.90 .90 Quadratic for your last Algebra 2 Chapter 4 test review video here. This is over the uh, the final uh, few pages. So I'm a quadratics using the quadratic formula. I've got a few of those and then the final page. Alright folks, so on 53, anytime you have something that looks like easy factor and we just have a single x squared, you want to see, hey, uh, do two numbers multiply to 1 because it's negative, differ by 4, and that is a no. So this one can't factor. Because it cannot factor, then you definitely want to use the quadratic formula, which I will give to you. So x equals negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2 times a. So, off to the side, we're just going to write, all right, a is 1, b is 4, and c is a negative one. So we got x is equal to the opposite of 4, plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4 um, times a times c all over 2 times a. Well, two, that's just 2 times 1. And be very careful, x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root. Inside, you're going to have 16, a negative times a negative is positive. 16 plus 4 will give you 20. All over 2. Remember, folks, I told you to uh, type in the square root of 20. If it's a decimal, you can stop. You know, technically, the best answer here would be, so this is fine. If you had your answer like this on the test, that will be correct. You can break down 20 as 2 root 5. So if you wanted to continue going, you could. This would be, if you look this answer up in a book, this would be the answer. But again, if I uh, take the square root and you get a decimal, you can stop. So that one's fine there. All right, take a look at 54. Um, really, anytime you know you got a middle term and the number attached to x squared is not 1, you guys are probably going to use the quadratic formula. So this time a is 2, b is negative 3, c is 5. You got x equals the opposite of b, so positive 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared. Put that in a parenthesis, minus 4 times a times c all over. 2 times a would be 4 this time. All right, so you got x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of some number all over 4. It's going to give you 9. 9 minus 40, 9 minus 40 is a negative 31. Folks, don't leave your answer like that. Anytime you have a negative inside the square root, you got to take the i out. So x equals 3 plus or minus i root 31. Take the square root of 31. It is a decimal, so no more with 31. All over 4, and that would be your answer right there. Don't forget about the i if you want full credit there. All right, let's take a look at the next page. There were a few that we might want to think about the quadratic formula on. This guy will actually factor, um, but again, if you want to use the quadratic formula, that's fine. So x equals the opposite of that middle term, so negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared minus 4. A is 3, C is 8. All over uh, 2 times a, so double 3. So x equals negative 10 plus or minus the square root. It's going to give you 100 10 squared minus 96. 100 minus 96 is 4. Guys, again, always take the square root. The square root of 4 is 2. So bye bye square roots. Okay, please know that that is not an answer. So you got to do 10, negative 10 plus 2 over 6. That's 8 over 6, which is 4 thirds. So that is one of our answers. And then down here, you can do the negative 10 minus 2 over 6. That's negative 12 over 6. That's negative 2. All right, so anytime, we could have used the AC method here. Um, anytime when you take the square of this number and it is not a decimal, you got to break it down as such to the negative 10 minus or plus 2 over 6, negative 10 minus 2 over 6 to get your two answers. All right, folks, take a look at 58 again. What multiplies to 4 because positive adds to 9 doesn't exist, so this one can't factor. We definitely do have to use the quadratic formula. 
x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4, a is 1, c is 4, all over 2 times a, 2 times 1. So x equals negative 9 plus or minus the square root. You get 81. 81 minus uh, 16 is 65. 65 is a great number for us because when you take the square root of 65, you get a decimal. So we can, we can be done right there. That's a negative 9. All right. Then the last one on this whole solving um, parts. Um, I don't know, maybe the AC method will work here. Or, again, because you see a 2x squared, you're like, oh, let's immediately... Let's definitely do the quadratic formula, and that is fine. All right, so x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. When you double a at the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. All right, so just do the arithmetic on the inside. Again, your calculators, if you type it in as such, can handle that. It's going to be 49, um, a negative, oh, we just got one negative in there so it's going to be 49 minus uh, 32 it looks like 49 minus 32 is 17 17 is great because when you take the square root of 17 you get a decimal so that's your answer 7 plus or minus the square root of 4 uh, 17 all over 4 all right lastly here the back page write a quadratic equation with the following roots so no fractions in your answer. So what this means is x is negative 3. And I think you have two of these on your test. x equals negative 3 and x equals 7. Going backwards means x plus 3 was in the parentheses and x minus 7. So then we just simply FOIL x squared minus 7x plus 3x minus 21. Combine the like term, the middle terms there. Um, x squared minus 4x minus 21 is your answer. That is the quadratic, that is a quadratic equation with x equals negative 3 and x equals 7 as two solutions. All right here we got x is 1 half and x is negative 5. That means in parentheses you're going to have x minus 1 half, then x plus 5. Folks, it says no fraction, so what I want to do is I want to get rid of this denominator too by multiplying everything in here by that denominator 2. So when you do 2 times x, you're going to have 2x. When you do uh, 1 half times 2, it's just 1. So that's going to become 2x minus 1. Now you'll FOIL with that. So you're going to get 2x squared plus 10x minus x minus 5. So you're going to have 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 as your final answer after you combine those middle terms. All right, here, so we kind of get the point. We're going to have x minus 2 thirds in one parenthesis, x minus 1. Again, we want to get rid of that denominator. We want to multiply everything in here by 3. So now it's going to be 3x minus 2, whatever that numerator is in that fraction is what's going to remain, times x minus 1. So we got 3x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 2. All right, we're going to have 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 as your final answer. And you combine that negative 3x and that minus 2x. Okay, so here we're going to have x plus, kind of always the opposite there, 3 fourths in one parenthesis, x minus 1 third in the other. Going to multiply everything in this one by 4, everything in this one by 3. So you're going to have 4x plus 3 in one parenthesis. Then you're going to have 3x minus 1 in the other. All right, that's going to give you 12x squared minus 4x plus 9x. Lastly, minus 3. Combine those middle terms, you get 12x squared plus 5x minus 3. All right, that's your final answer there. I know it's Algebra 2. We'll go over 65 and 66 tomorrow. This is 90.90 .90 Quadratic, signing out.